UHSM is a major acute teaching hospital. We offer district general hospital services and also specialist tertiary services to the population of Greater Manchester. Those include vascular surgery, cardiology, cardiothoracic and transplant services. The main reason of investing in a new hybrid room was to improve the quality of care for our patients. What that means is we are undertaking minimally invasive procedures on patients, which means actually for the first time ever we are operating on patients now as a day case, where historically we would admit those patients into a bed and they maybe stay for two or three days. So overall reducing length of stay for suitable candidates and clearly with the fact that this, we can now deliver minimally invasive procedures in the hybrid OR, that means we, we have a less requirement for beds. So less requirement for beds brings costs down for a hospital. There is a lot of technology in those rooms now and that was all completely new to everybody. So we really had to commit to having a robust plan of training whilst balancing the daily priorities, which is patients are still coming through the door training of the staff was supported um, by GE and by Mackay. Before the hybrids opened we performed our combined procedure with vascular surgeons in a, a normal theatre using a portable seal. The use of the discovery system in the hybrid theatres has changed our practice quite dramatically. We're quite lucky at um, Wivenshaw Hospital. We are the first hospital in the UK to have the uh, discovery system which has been integrated with the Madness table. So we're taking on much more challenging procedures, so we're doing a lot more combined cases. But the advantage for, the, uh, for the, using the GE Discovery is that it's not fixed position. If you're performing a purely open procedure, then you can park it. There are several park positions, and this means the surgeons have got unfettered access to the operating theatre. The GE Discovery is state-of-the-art imaging. It's like fusion software, which means that you can plan your endovascular procedures beforehand from a CT or MR data set you know exactly what you're going to do before you enter the operating theatre so the procedure time itself is reduced, the radiation dose is reduced to the patient and more importantly the staff. The procedures are done a lot quicker. Throughput has improved so we can sometimes perform three EVARs in one day. So we have just performed a combined operation, coronary artery bypass grafting, tree grafts as well as an endovascular stenting of a large infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm. This gentleman was 81 years old and he had very significant coronary lesions. He also was found to have a rapidly enlarging abdominal aortic aneurysm, both of which needed treating. And after appropriate multidisciplinary meetings, we decided that a combined approach was best for him. Without a hybrid, you know, you would have to get on and do this thing in a sequential fashion. You would have done either his coronary artery surgery first, followed by a short period of recovery, and then have his aneurysm dealt with, or to have his aneurysm dealt with first. In this way, if you were to have any one of these procedures, there are risk with the procedure which is left untreated. There are many other advantages to it. You know, the patient has one hospital stay, one anesthetic, and his period of recovery. With our Discovery Stone 30 room with the Mackay Magnus table, we uh, perform the full repertoire of vascular procedures. So I do all my open operations from carotid surgery, open aortic surgery, peripheral bypass surgery. About 50% of my peripheral work is in combination with uh, interventional radiology. And of interest to me is the opportunity to do more complex work with other specialities. So we do combine cases with cardiac surgeons, as we've done today, um, surgical oncology and plastic surgery. It's very easy to train the staff and to learn how to change the tables. So we will use the fixed common farm table for all our endovascular work, um, our EVAR, TVAR, and our low limb reconstructions. But for open carotid and aortic surgery, we'll move to the uh, Magnus table with the um, breakable surface, um, which facilitates exposure. Well, the workflow has certainly improved. Um, changing between tabletops is easy, um, can be done um, quickly between cases. We were able to do a combined coronary artery bypass and EVAR without any compromise to either procedure. So the coronary artery bypass was done in a conventional manner, but with the uh, advantages of working in a modern operating environment. And the EVAR was performed immediately afterwards during the same anaesthetic, but with um, excellent imaging, uh, the benefits of a, a fixed imaging system of reduced radiation, reduced screening times, and I think it provided the patient with the best possible um, operation. 
when we're doing combined cases, um, it allows easy access um, for the open um, surgical aspects of treatment, um, as well as giving excellent uh, imaging of the endovascular parts of any treatment. Uh, routinely, we will use cone beam CT um, as a completion image, and this allows us to do a 360 degree assessment of the stent graft, make sure there's no deformation of the prosthesis, and also it gives us a complete uh, assessment of any end leak. I think it um, increases the uh, surgical repertoire of cases that you can do. It um, gives you excellent imaging. It gives the best possible treatments to patients, um, reduce radiation exposure, reduce contrast use. It is um, a fabulous working environment to operate in. And the patient flow has become more efficient. The um, collaborative work that we do has, has improved. And it's just a pleasure to operate in.